everyone. Here is a search, a Google search for Shona Kenderdine. Shona Kenderdine was a judge who fraudulently, fraudulently issued the Turatia Wind Farm consent. She wasn't a judge when she did it, and she hadn't been one for 13 months. This has been covered up by the New Zealand government and by the Attorney General, and now it looks like also by the New Zealand Law Society. Let's click on a link which takes us to a story about Shona Kenadine getting a um, Queen's Birthday Honours Award. And there it is. The story there is false. It makes a statement to the effect that she retired in 2010. In fact, she retired in 2006. It completely leaves out any detail of the Turatia wind farm and the consent. Now, a complaint has been lodged with the New Zealand Law Society and their response has been to lie. This is in fact the complaint and at the bottom of this uh, YouTube, uh, you can, or YouTube video, you can access this complaint, right? What we've done is we've taken the story and we've commented on it. But what is particularly interesting is this. There's a screenshot. But underneath we've got the actual page itself. This is the, the internet link to that page. Now you click on it and this is what you get. Not found. So in other words, what the Law Society is doing is hiding this hiding the story and also hiding their highly edited uh, curriculum vitae of Shona Kenadine. Now if you click on this page it says this, My Law Society. There it is there. So this is fraud on a, on a scale that's, that's unprecedented in New Zealand. It's been covered up by the government and people need to know about it. It has a dramatic effect on Palmerston North, this Turatia wind farm. It will reduce the value of property in the city by at least $100 million and will mean that many properties underneath the wind farm will be unsaleable. So take your protest, please. Uh, we can't do it by ourselves. We're being ignored, fobbed off and lied to. And when the Law Society actually gets to the stage where they will do this and lie to cover up for the Attorney General, the Minister of Justice, Nick um, Smith, uh, Amy Adams, and a whole host of other uh, people who've had, you know, who are associated with this, then this is a disgrace that New Zealand is is facing. And the media, of course, are not recording it or not reporting on it accurately, or at all, or at all, in fact, other than a scoop news release which was completely factual. The government has, in fact, admitted that Kenadine was not a judge and hadn't been a judge for 13 months. And submitters uh, were denied this information. It was covered up. Kenadine received a huge amount of money uh, to carry out the fraud. And the thing is that, that uh, um, submitters on the Turatia wind farm, and there were many, many of them, there are over a thousand in fact, bitterly opposed to the Turatia wind farm, which is in Palmerston North, by the way, not on the outskirts of Palmerston North or anything like that. Uh, it's caused, and will cause dramatic um, problems for property owners, for the environment, and for the city at large. Well, those submitters were never expected to find out that they'd been conned all along.